This is Rocky Hall. Today is September 3rd, 2016, and I'm at uh, Sacred Stone Camp, and I'm going to interview this beautiful lady here. So if you'd like to introduce yourself. My name is Cheryl Angel, and I'm from Rosebud, South Dakota. And you're here because? I'm here pretty much for the same reason that everybody else is here. Um, they're here to protect the water. There might be some other people who are here for other reasons, but um, that's up to them why they're here. But basically, everybody here is to protect the water. It's working out pretty good. The people that are showing up are, are really incredible. I'm impressed, truly. Well, you know what? Um, we come from a great country. Too often, I hear people, myself included, um, become discouraged because there are leaders that we elected who make poor decisions and it affects all of us yeah it affects uh, people who put their trust in them and so of course that's going to make you hurt so but the people in america the majority of them the ones that i've met here at camp are great people so i've met some incredible people in the last week i yeah. have to say yeah, yeah from yes. all over and so I think that's representative of uh, a great country. Now, what tribe are you from? Do you mind me asking? Um, I'm Saint Chachu Lakota, and we're part of the Great Sioux Nation. We're part of the Ocheti Shakowi, and um, we have treaty lands, and we're actually sitting on treaty lands right now. Um, unfortunately, the government hasn't been um, honorable when it comes to honoring our treaties, or the treaties that they made with my people. Yeah. So that's a really, I would say that for America, when other people look at our country, that's like a black eye. Um, and There's a lot of treaties that, that have been broken. You're being nice, yeah. I'm not so nice, you're way nice. Uh, I can be a little foul. But uh, you've been here at the camp for how long? I've been here, I think, since the middle of April. Wow. Um, when they started the first run to Omaha. I really wanted to be up here on that first day, um, but I didn't, nobody would come up here with me. And so I said, okay, I'll wait till I get someone to come up with me. Um, and then sure enough, the run came, and I got my fan, I got my two sons, and I got my best friend, and we came up here. We followed them, we took video, we had ceremony, we laughed, we ate, we prayed, we ran, um, and it rained. Oh. It, was, it was wonderful, but that was the beginning. And uh, for the camp here, I've been at another camp before. We fought with the, the Keystone Pipeline successfully, I might add. Um, so um, I come from a place in time when people looked at Native people and they said, why are you doing that? Because KXL, they're going to come no matter what you do. Oh, you know? I've been told that you can't oh. stop progress. Oh, yes, you can. Yeah, you yeah. can. That's not progress. Yeah. So. I have faith. I have love for the water. Um, this whole camp is evidence that there's something wrong with pipelines. And yeah. it's uh, very, very uh, bad for the people when the elected officials choose to go with the people with money instead of going with the people with hearts. And going because for what's habits. right what's morally ethically and legally right mm -hmm. they go with the money and the greed mm -hmm. they make that decision yeah, yeah. I, I have a hard time with that one yeah so we're right now in a very uh, America's actually in a really sad state right now mm -hmm. um, but whenever things get really dark then that's when all the good comes out and you can see it happening right here there are good people you've seen this camp uh, just explode oh, yeah. since you've been here yeah. since the beginning pretty yeah. much yeah no I'm I go and I come and I go I come uh -huh. and I go and I come and I go because I support this camp um, this is where my heart is um, I won't leave this camp we'll be here till the end but of course I've got a life so I've, I've I come and I go right yeah. right right yeah. I spread the word wherever I go yeah um, I say good things because good things are happening here you know what else can I say there's people praying here there's people uh, meeting new people here this morning. It was really interesting because There's a new discussion around the camp circle 
and it's not so much how are we going to get these people to listen to us to understand that what they're doing is wrong totally uh, like you said um, morally wrong mm -hmm. um, how can we get them to understand that that pipeline can't go through um, those are the discussions that we used to have everybody was thinking what can we do and then um, this morning at camp early in the morning I was sitting and I was listening to the discussion over the campfire and I was hearing people plan a community we weren't talking about oh my goodness this date's coming we need to do something how are we going to get it done because that's how the formation of the group started right that's how the camp started but now it has evolved into a thriving community where people are saying, okay, um, they're talking about the community. We are building a community. And permanent structures here on this camp yes, including, site. Including including permanent structures. Yeah. So the discussion is, is different. All, all day long I've been pulled to the side and said, okay, um, these are the things that we need. What do you think about a solar um, dehydrator? And I said, that's perfect. What do you need? Let's get started. Um, okay. Okay. So we need, let's move the... So we were going to move our supplies over, we're getting in shelves. What else do you need? us? And so people from the outside are coming in, listening for, for once in a long time. You know, people are, people are here. Yeah. People are here with resources and they're leaving to get more resources to come back because we're building a community here. Everybody a that community, uh, listens not. to my YouTube channels has mm -hmm. uh, tried to donate in, in any way that they can. So uh, solar cookers. I, I didn't think of solar cookers, and I've been in the kitchen for the last couple days. Uh, solar cookers, guys, if you'd like to send them to Sacred Stone Camp, please do. Yeah, um, we do have, uh, what do they call them? Rocket stoves. We've the rocket stoves we used this morning yeah. for the pancakes, and the women were, the girls were out there cooking on the rocket stove, and they were, mm -hmm. they were doing mm -hmm. pretty well, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, we've had churches come. We had church leaders come. Mm -hmm. Um, and they bring whatever resources they can and they pray for us because they get all it. denominations they get it so for all the people out there who yeah. pray um, it doesn't matter what denomination that you come from we appreciate your prayers we love you our creator loves you and, and we need to protect this planet so please do whatever you can to stop this pipeline from happening for the atheists right. that have shown up well you heard something calling you <laughs> I had to put that in there. Sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, it turns out that I've met a few mm -hmm. self-proclaimed atheists. Mm -hmm. Man, they really care about stuff. Right. They really do. Yes. And so, I really, I mean, I don't, I don't call them on it because mm. you don't have to. Because you can already see they're believers. They believe in something. Otherwise, right. Something's moving their heart. Something is moving their heart. They just, maybe, maybe they don't recognize it or maybe they don't know what to call it. But something's moving in their heart. They're doing good things. Yeah. And, uh, I think it's funny. Uh, um, I think it's just good that people are doing good things for other people. Mm -hmm. You know, that's all I, all I was ever taught to do was to help people. Um, and if you have just at least that basic feeling to help somebody, um, then you're going the right way. So thank you for doing that. Um, thank you for all the good, the future do. The oh yeah. Future good deeds that are coming. Oh, they're coming. So they're coming in swarms. Uh, can we talk about your son? Would you mind talking about your son? My son, um, I... Happy I American raised. horse that was uh, chained to the heavy equipment out on Highway 6, North Dakota Highway 6. Uh, this is the beautiful mother. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. You, you, I've heard you say beautiful a couple of times, so I'm going to um, say that the person who was really beautiful was my son Happy mm -hmm. because his resistance and his message is about protecting the beauty of this planet. I mean, it's the most basic thing that we have to survive on this planet is water. He gets that. The people here, they get that. So um, yes, I'm proud of him. Um, but more importantly, I, you know, I would be proud of you too. Anybody who's listening to this, if you could do something to protect the water because it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful and it was a gift. And we just can't, you know, do the things that we're doing to water. We cannot. Not at this rate. Not with those oil companies. Not when there's another solution. And there are many solutions. There are. Hemp. <laughs> yeah, right. Solar power. Um, when? Does it mean we have to completely stop? Because I know there's already oil sitting everywhere 
available for you. So yeah, use that for whatever mm. we can't make without hemp, without solar power, without wind power. Yeah. Uh, we just don't have to, um, you know, dig up every piece, every drop that we can find. We don't have to do that. We don't have to do that. We shouldn't be doing that. That's just wrong. Yeah. yeah. And there's, we're intelligent people. There's purposes. so much knowledge out there. I was going <laughs> to say there's so much knowledge out there that we have alter, our t alternative sources at our disposal that people aren't utilizing because there's no there's not enough money in it. And then, then it goes mm. back to greed. And then it goes back to the oil companies and how much money they make. And, and, and then it goes back to that. And mm. it's a it's kind of a vicious circle. Yeah. So. Well, they say life is a circle. Um, yeah. Native people, we believe everything is a circle. Um, that's why we can't just um, continue to take and take and take and take. There has to be some give. You know, this is a mm -hmm. give-take world. And if you erase, you know, the money off of it, mm -hmm. and then it pretty balance, much balances is out because it says, I can cook you a loaf of bread. Do you think you could come Sister. fix my shit? <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, and here's, here's the person I was waiting for. Here. Yeah, Excuse here's the person me. I've been looking at okay. for like two days. Oh, my goodness. Hey, 